back to Tuk's Craft Table. Uh, I'm so excited with this project. Um, so I just got invited to be a team design team member for Susan Taylor Brown, and uh, she has a Etsy shop called uh, Puppiness. So I will um, link her video and her Etsy shop down in the description box so you can check her out i think most of my subby know who susan is and if you don't please go ahead and check her um youtube out she has her channel is filled with knowledge okay that's she's inspired me so much and <laughs> she had helped me so much so and i was so thrilled when she asked me to join her team and uh, this is my very first project with her and um, I choose the mermaid project and used her kit as the ocean songs um, so I will uh, link the kit down below I used three kits it's the mermaid um, quotes and the oh she did an amazing eco printing uh, eco dye paper and she have digital uh, set in her store and the quality of her scan and the printout it's just like so pristine I mean my printer is just like Epson Ecotang and I print it on like a um, copy not photo setting or any extra I just print their default copy paper uh, copy image and stuff like that so it print out just amazing and um, I use the eco set. I use um, the florus floor. I it has to be one of, like the most like um, favorite eco paper because it's, it just looks like um, the leaf is like under the water. That's why I choose to go with this theme. So anyway, let's see the the project. I used to do. I used the um, ring bound journal because. I want to try I saw this um, uh, oh I can't pronounce her name sorry but I will link her channel below because I, when I look at her art and I made me want to do mixed media and uh, when I saw she did the mermaid project and I like I have to try so I did it earlier in back in September or something and I failed because all the mermaid was broken and it must be some the clay that I use is not um, the right type so I got a different clay and I try again and I did these so this is like a mixed media on canvas um, so that's why I used the ring bind because um, I did it on canvas um, uh, what you call the the plate not not the cardboard and it has like um, all these um, ribbon that uh, Wendy uh, from my meetup group and Andrea she gave we exchanged some <laughs> some goodies so that's come from them and uh, so I sewn on these um, like a broken shells that I got from thrift store it was the necklace so I take it apart and then I sewn it on and just to make it have like a way wave to weigh down the tassel and I use this uh, miniature um, dollhouse doorknob um, that I got from Amazon I can link um, below for this um, if you are interested uh, and also I use some of these net from lace and these little shells are also from necklace that I uh, take it apart so uh, this is the glass beads and yeah so I'm really happy with how this turned out and um, so let's take it in a look inside um, I, I love her her kit like you know it just I didn't do much to it because I don't want to cover or you know the point of um, showing off her, her her design on the paper itself so 
I did minimum to it, but it still looked really good, I think. <laughs> so, and the cover, I have pockets. In here, I have my the handmade paper and my card in. This, um, I use old book plate to make a base of the tag and uh, I collage just what left over from these is her paper um, from the Ocean Songs and then the eco paper. Just collage and then I do the, um, what do you call some, hmm, stencil. Right? What do you call that? Like with the pa uh, embossing paste, right? And uh, look at, and then I back the with craft paper, so it's good for journaling. So I, I'm not, I don't, I didn't want to add any word or anything to this because just look at it. It's already simple but so calm and peaceful. I think it's beautiful. So, and here's that. <laughs> I just thought it looked like a mermaid tail. <laughs> and then there's the mermaid quotes. Here and there I add the quotes in a lot because the quotes is beautiful. It, it is truly beautiful. If you love the sea, you will love this um, journal. Like, I'm more of the museum and art gallery girl. <laughs> If you take me for traveling, don't take me to the beach. <laughs> I don't like the heat, the sun, the sand. I do love it. I go uh, once in a while. I go, but um, uh, no. <laughs> I like to walk in the city and look at the old building and architect and artwork. <laughs> that's a, that's me. Uh, and here's the tag spot that I. Did some collage on book or book page, and then using her image and then the quotes. And here's again using you know collage using her eco paper, and uh, um, emboss. Yeah, this is from the book page. And here's some tuck spot using the paper bag like a lunch bag or something and. Oops, that's not from the back, um, but um, I didn't add anything to this pocket um, because I don't want to become. So, but this is the tuck spot and decorate with some lace. And uh, here's a tuck spot here. You see, um, you know, inspired by Wendy adventure for her um, ring bound uh, construct um, journal so I just like use that because I love the stagger the size the layer and the you know the different sizes so that's why I I like the um, ununiform <laughs> you know what I mean I, I don't know how to explain and here's using the stencil to add texture paste to this tag and uh, didn't do much to it using the echo paper and the mermaid kit collage to each other and you texture paste on top and the ink from the print came out and absorbed into the texture paste and and give the texture paste that color isn't that cool I think it's pretty cool oh and then again back with the craft paper and here's some pocket I didn't put anything in just in case you want to have something else in here and this is the first journal and I decorate a little bit and using the image I love this um, you know her image like and then the, oops sorry this is the first image 
and I collage the image on um, tea dye cardstock and stencil inside with some pocket and this can be belly band um, and then just simple using Chantel um, cabbage dye paper I love Chantel's paper I, I can't I'm, I'm obsessed <laughs> I was gonna hoard it for a little while but <laughs> I thought it goes so well with this kit with this set of um, the mermaid kit that um, Susan has so this old book page and just my 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 style of um, paper collection that I have so nothing special just beside Chantel's cabbage dye paper <laughs> So you have a lot of space um, to to journal with. I mean, you can take it this out and journal, right? So it's almost the same size as travel notebook, uh, travel journal uh, size. And here's the pocket and collage on old book page and then stencil and uh, have that image from her kit. And that's the first journal and here's some belly band just um, using the time card and collage and have some quotes from her and this is a, t puck, a tuck spot as well but I didn't put anything in um, here let's see no <laughs> here come my baby want something <laughs> no honey mommy's feeling And using this check to be base of the tax spot and then some lace. This mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, he's he asking for something. Um, this lace has the shape of the fish tail. I <laughs> it's so unreal. <laughs> um, here's again that um, collage paper that pick up the ink from the pin printing. It's so beautiful. And here's the uh, outer paper bag has belly band here and here is pocket and here flash card also look, look so simple but so elegant looking and the printing the page her digital kit and this one of the quotes and and look at the this look at how clear of the scan and and eco this is the collage that i that's from her kit and this one is the cd envelope i did not put oops i need to glue that down properly um, I have this die cut that has a bubble so I thought it go well so I didn't put anything in here just keep the bulk down and here again all oh, this quote it's beautiful and here's the tag and here again look at the color that it pick up on the printing and this is big pocket here made um, outer envelope and then in here I just add the small um, journaling um, for shopping list your grocery shopping whatever you want good for their purse and this is another one I got I went crazy with the what do you call seam binding? I dyed it with um, distressing salty ocean. That's beautiful. And this image is from their kit as well. 
I will link below her kit so you can go check it out and here's the collage tag and here's the envelope flip out and this is my favorite page this is uh, peeking through mermaid tail and uh, the mermaid quotes just beautiful and this is tuck spot here and here's some tuck spot here and have the chip that went by and through the rough sea and going into the, our second journal and same again um, tuck spot here this is the back of the journal and this is the front of the journal and look at beautiful i know dd um uh, one of uh, team member she also working on mermaid uh, journal right now um, so she her journal is so beautiful I love the spine that she did it's beautiful you can just check her out and uh, I will link the link below to her channel as well and this is let's go through the second same construction um, and uh, this children book page is just beautiful and more of Fevers Chantel cabbage dye paper so that's um, a lot lots of space to write on and and here's a pocket here and here's the big altered window envelope as well and uh, using this is from the ocean no forest floor and ocean song um, paper that have left here and there and in here I have a, just the scrap pad that is just um you know you can when once you finish the, this pad you can refill with your own paper here just untie this it's just simple uh, put together like that All right so just make it easy so you can reuse this We call them the back and the cover. Oops. So this. You know, I got this a lot of this big window envelope from like real estate, real estate, uh, real estate company. They send brochure all the time, so they the one who has money. So they send nice fancy envelope all the time. So I keep them all. And the back, I just um, because the envelope is big, so I fold, uh, I fold up. So and here become the tax spot behind and here's another fabulous um, page with the mermaid tail here and um, the mermaid quotes that I love and this one has the writing um, I got all these stencil from Amazon as well so I will um, put the link of what I where I shop down below so just be aware that my link is affiliate link with Amazon so so just just so you know that and uh, some of the link may not work outside Canada as well so and uh, and here's the page that um, the, this also in in the kit in the map um, and uh, I have this giant paper clip that hold this this is from Jaya 
from her silk um, bundle that I got from her and the beautiful uh, mermaid quote it's beautiful it's really it's beautiful I wish I loved the sea I love the ocean I mean I go to the beach once in a while it's beautiful and nice but <laughs> that's it for, for novelty for food because <laughs> seafood I love seafood and the back and the back is one of her page layout um, that I use so what I did I covered the um, canvas with the printout from her kit and um, I use uh, Nuvo drops um, to give these uh, what do you call them um, dew drop or bubble from the ocean and then this tail I used Nuvo a drop as well to add the texture and dimension to this tail and I also use the glitter pen to add the like the sparkle from this pearl yeah I really love her kid this kid and then you know it you know the um, it I'm a little bit struggle with um, how I go about with mixed media and how you know but blue is my favorite color so this is like I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out and uh, I hope Susan approve how I use her kid <laughs> it's the first time <laughs> first time maybe the third charm third time is the charm right but uh, yeah no I really like working this kit and uh, please check uh, Didi's um, channel out as well because she's is working on the mermaid uh, channel as well and uh, you can see how we use the same kit in different way and uh, yeah Thank you, Susan, for giving me a chance to play with your work, and uh, I really appreciate um, you to to offer me this opportunity. And uh, thank you, everyone, for sh um, supporting me um, on my channel and cheering me on <laughs> when I'm not feeling that great. And uh, yeah, I love this community. Um, I. I might put this on my shop so I don't know because I don't know <laughs> I don't know do you guys like it if you like it maybe I will put it in a shop um, so there you go for Susan's um, first design team project and I love I love how it turned out I, I really do my you know intention of making the mermaid for a long time and finally I I got it I got it thank you everyone and we'll see you soon for next video bye